Hi, it's Andy from Kyoyo Shani. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're up here at the Heather A3. I'm not making a habit of going in here every week, uh, but I'm just curious to see if they just need another super on or not. Uh, we're the 2nd of September. Heather, I'll show you some clips, but it is still in full bloom. Um, so we may have another week or two. I've never done it before, so I'm not entirely sure how long it flowers for. So if anybody knows, just bang it in the comments, let me know. Uh, and we're also going to go into the lower apiary, just in the village there. And we've got some uh, hives that we're going to treat for apivar, or treat for varroa with apivar. Uh, especially the nukes, I should have probably done them a few weeks ago, uh, especially when they were broodless. But I did put like a, um, a trickle treatment on using varroa med. <clears throat> So yeah, just curiosity, we're not gonna go through these, the brood boxes on these, we're just gonna have a quick look into the supers, see how they work in it, see how they work in the plastic foundation as well, because I've never used that before. Uh, some people love it, some people hate it, but anyway, stop me rambling, let's get on. So good to see that they're working pretty hard, that hive especially, that was a big hive, really sort of ramming it in. I've got a reduced entrance on there actually, I didn't realize that. Um, and obviously we've got this one here, so on a couple of supers, I think these, that one and that one were the later hives, I think, but they were pretty strong. Uh, and as you can see, it's just have a wonder over here. Have a look at the, sh you just see on the tops there, nice bit of purple haze, still going. And like I say, I'm not entirely sure how long we've got left. Uh, and you just pan round, look at that. So we're slowly getting here with this one. We've got the super on top. So we've got three supers on this. Uh, they're probably storing a lot more up here than they are on these plastic ones, to be honest. Probably my fault, I've probably given them a little bit too much space. But you can see these outside ones have not even quite touched yet. Let's see if we can get a couple out. See that one there, they're working. That's the furthest one out. Yeah. I mean, they're filling it up, but yeah, let's just pop that there. Have a look at one in the middle. I think they definitely prefer, see that's not bad, not quite gone to the edges, but it's certainly filling it up with wax, I've obviously had to work it from scratch, so not too bad, um, would have done better on foundation, maybe, but I wanted to use the plastic foundation, um, so I could scrape it off, that's a nice frame, look at the view in the background, it's just mega. Uh, just take a moment that's lovely that anyway yeah so that's pretty good they're starting to cap that over that's really heavy actually holding it by my fingertips like that so i'll pop that back down so yeah not too bad um i'd like to see if they can work these sections these sections we've had them years <laughs> got drawn out that's about as far as we got with them but i don't think they've really ever been filled up anyway I'll check some of the others and then we'll pop down into the bottom, the apron in the bottom of the village and uh, we'll uh, treat for a um, varroa. So definitely one four box on this one. I just started to work the one uh, above it. Um, here's something that I've learned this year. That top box has probably got 11 frames in. That bottom box has probably got, probably got three, six, nine. Yeah, that, and that ends up being a little bit of a problem because as you can see, they build all this bear comb and sort of pretty much seal the boxes together. It can be a bit tricky. And when you come to put that together, we'll be squashing some bees, unfortunately. But it just sort of, uh, yeah, it doesn't really make a tidy job that. So if you're gonna stack boxes on top of each other, try and make sure they've got the same amount of frames in so they're spaced equally. Anyway, every day's a school day. Um, I think that'll do for up here. Um, I'll see you down at the bottom of April. So it's that time of year where we're going to start thinking about varroa treatments. Right at the beginning of September, we're a little bit late up north, I find. I know some people like to get them in in August, but up here, end of August, we'll, we'll take the summer honey off. As you can see, there's a nice queen there, but bass queen. We've got queens from Luke and Susie at Northumberland Honey Company this year. And she looks absolutely fantastic. Her bees are coming through now, really nice and calm. And they've got a good ring of stars as well, which is good to see. Ideally, you don't really want to feed your bees if you can help it, but if you need to, obviously do so. So we'll go through here, just see what they're looking like and get some happy bar strips in. So what I'm doing, you just want one strip of happy bar uh, for five frames of bees. 
So I'm mean, knowing this is six frame new, but she's on three frames of brood. So I've just got to pop it right in the middle there. Ideally, I should have maybe had cocktail sticks. There's always something I forget when I'm out and about. So I'll pop that in there. Just bring these frames nice and close together without trying to crush any bees. And then that's that one done. They've got plenty of stars. So yeah, we'll just lock this one up. I will just keep checking it for weight. But effectively, that's all you do with that. I might just put that spike in the wax a little bit. There we go, there we got that stripping nice and tight of all i've done i've just poked that pointy bit into the wax below just slowly put it in made sure i saw where my queen was just double check where she was made sure i wasn't going to squish her or any other bees and then just slowly brought the frames together that's a good size new bringing quite a lot of stars in already still room to expand so i'm quite happy they should hopefully overwinter nice and we shall see what so can Susie's Queens do next year. So watch out for that video dropping next year. I thought I'd put this one on camera because you, as you can see, it's in a full size hive, but we've got nowhere near enough bees to sort of fill this box. It is another young queen. I split this hive down and requeened it, but as uh, July was so wet, we had no brood whatsoever. She, so we're really low on numbers. So what we're going to do with this one, we'll probably downgrade it to a nuke uh, and put one strip in because if I leave it like this, they just won't be able to keep that big box warm. So if you've got hives where you've got like easily four or five frames that aren't being used, seriously think about downgrading it to a nuke. It gives the queen a lot bit of a better chance um, and the whole colony to sort of see you through to next spring. So assessing colonies for winter, as you can see, we're in a new, uh, we're at the beginning of September here, and we've got a good one, two, three, four, five, uh, four and a half, five, and we've obviously got this spare frame at the end here. Weight feels really good. Um, so I know you can see straight away, you can see at the top there, they're bringing in a lot of stars. Heather's uh, in full flower at the minute, right at the top of the hill here. So they're going up for that and they're going down to the river, river for balsam as well. So they're bringing plenty in. So we'll get have a look through here and we'll just see what the brew pattern's like and uh, we'll put a strip in. There's a bit more promo for one of Lawrence's queens there. As you can see, she's still going strong. I had to put her in a nuke though, flip it out. She was too quick for me. I was constantly chasing my tail, but did get some good honey off her. She's still laying strong. Good, nice, calm colony, as you can see. Not flying up at me. And we've got plenty of bees. They're bringing in a lot of stores. So these should be absolutely fine over winter. We'll just obviously treat for Varroa with a Varroa strip. We'll pop that in now. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in spring. Did I just speak too soon? Look at that. Charge queen cell, young larvae in there. This is the tail of this queen all year. It's just, she's been fantastic. Don't get me wrong, but this is what I've had to put with all year. So we've got a charge queen cell in there. It's because of the heather. Heather's been really good this in August. We've had a real good amount of sun. Um, so obviously they're thinking about it. I'll try and knock this back. It, I think they might tear it down in fairness, but I'm not going to split her again. Not this time. It's uh, I'll knock this back. And if she stays, she stays. If she goes, she goes. Sorry, Lawrence, but you know what it's like doing videos. You've got to show the good and the bad. Uh, she's been a fantastic queen, but this just tells the story all year. I've just been chasing these queen cells all year with this colony. Anyway, we'll carry on looking through. We'll put the strip in, we'll knock this back and we'll shut it up. So I won't keep just videoing me putting strips in ukes, honestly, but I just wanted to get some of Luke and Susie's queens on camera because I've had them a little while now. They've just not really established into full-size colonies. Hence why I did it on the video there. It's just interesting to see the amount of propolis um, this queen's built. I don't really have a problem with propolis and some people say it's actually a good sign of a really healthy colony really, because there's a, a lot of uh, antibacterial properties in propolis apparently. I'm not the expert. I'm sure someone can put it in the comments below to tell me a bit more about it. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you prefer bees with a bit of propolis, less propolis? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go through with this. You can see it's absolutely rammed with stars, which is good as long as they're not running out of room for brood, then we might have a problem. So as you can see, this colony, um, it has supers on still. Um, we're in the, right at the beginning of September, so it is 
quite late on we are quite late up here in north yorkshire actually it's re we're really high here actually i think we're about 400 feet above sea level i think i don't know um so everything's obviously a little bit slower but main purpose of the video today is obviously we're re preparing for winter doing varroa you can't put your strips in um if you've got only supers on so as you can see they're just starting to cap this off so the cells are all full they're obviously working it there drying it down it's all heather honey you can smell it if we had smell of vision like we did back in the 90s or whatever we had um it's yeah it's quite incredible so i'm probably going to give these a week uh, and then what i might do i might take off the frames that are fully capped uh and leave them with the frames that aren't capped uh, and they can just have them on over winter i'll just have to sacrifice those frames and write on them that have been tainted with apivar but yeah just in case some of you don't know you can't treat for varroa while you've got honey on uh, especially if it's honey that you're taking off to consume or sell well if you consume it yourself then well it's up to you in it i suppose but if you're selling it you can't really sell anything that's been tainted with a chemical right that's enough of me rambling on um i think we're about done here that one as well has got a super on she's doing well but all these nukes are all prepped that hive at the end we're going to sort of downgrade to a nuke so with this hive actually at the bottom here uh, again that was a swarm so we'll get rid of some of their space give them half a chance for winter treating for varroa and we'll see them in spring but no all looking quite good and healthy uh we just need this honey to get capped off so we treat it for varroa for those nukes obviously those hives especially the smaller ones i think they get downgraded into nukes just give them you know a lot better chance to get through the winter uh, and then come springtime they'll be absolutely busting if i leave them in a hive there they might struggle to create the heat to create more bees and stuff like that so do it now so they've got plenty of time to bring on some good amount of winter bees with the happy strip with the varroa strips in there and they should really be a good box of bees coming out through winter hopefully cross fingers anyway if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed please subscribe it really helps the channel out and we'll see you in the next video cheers bye